In this video, we'll learn the BGP path selection process. Now, if you remember what we have learned in our previous videos, we have learned a lot of BGP and IBGP configurations. And then we have seen how to verify and troubleshoot the BGP pairings. Now, the pre-requirement before you get into these attributes or before you understand the BGP path selection process is you need to have a very good understanding uh, of IBGP and EBGP pairing and configuration and verifying and troubleshooting the things. Now, what exactly we learn is in that BGP path selection process, the first step we need to understand attributes. We call them as BGP attributes. Now, what these attributes exactly they do? Now, just like we have different kind of protocols which we used in our IGP, we have seen the different protocols like EAGRP, we got OSPF and we got RIP. Now, these protocols, all they all are internal gateway protocols, like interior gateway protocols within the same autonomous system member. And every protocol have its own path manipulation. Let's say uh, EHRP is going to consider bandwidth, delay, load, MTU and reliability. These are the five values which it uses when it decides the best route. Similar way OSPF uses only bandwidth with a formula of 10 to the power of 8 divided by bandwidth and it's going to see only the bandwidth when it decides the best route and when you talk about RIP it only decides the best route based on the hop counts. Whichever the route is having the least number of hops that route will be considered as the best route. Now that is something leading to IGP but in BGP the best path selection process is not based on the bandwidth, it's not based on the delay values, it's not based on the hop counts like we do in IGP but it's majorly based on the attributes. So these attributes will play a major role in selecting the best route. Now the best route will be decided based on the policy steps and the best route and that policy with whatever the attributes which are considered in the policy in a step by step order. Now before we decide how exactly BGP is going to calculate the best route, the first step for that is understanding the attributes. That is something what we are going to do it in this video. So let's get started here. The first thing attributes, like I just now I said, BGP chooses the best route based on the attribute of its path, which means BGP attributes will decide which is going to be the best route. Uh, unlike IGP, it, it, it is not going to use any of the bandwidth delay or, or the hop count values. Instead, it uses something called attributes. Now, these attributes are divided into four categories, well-known, well-known mandatory and well-known discretionary, optional transitive and optional non-transitive. Like, we got a lot of attributes in BGP which can affect the best path manipulation. The best path uh, can be decided based on these attributes, but the first thing we'll see the categories here, like the BGP attributes mainly classified into two categories. The first one is your well-known attribute and optional attribute. Now, when you say well-known, uh, the name itself says well-known means recognized by every BGP peer, which means every router which is running BGP, it's going to understand this type of attributes. When, when we say optional, it's it may be present. The name itself says it may be present in the BGP update. It may not be present. Now again, these two categories are again classified further into well-known is again classified as well-known mandatory attributes and we call it as well-known discretionary attributes. Now this is the first category. Well-known mandatory is the first category of attribute and well-known discretionary is the second category of the attribute. And then we got a third category, optional transitive and then we got optional non-transitive attributes. And these are the attributes which we'll be discussing individually. These are all the individual attributes. But first, we'll try to understand the category. And then probably in the next video, we'll see each and every attribute one by one. Like we'll start with AS path, next hop, origin attributes initially. And then we'll try to understand the local preference attribute, how it works. And then also we'll see some weight attribute and some other attributes. So let's get started with well-known category. As I said, well-known is the first category of the attributes, well-known mandatory. Now mandatory, the name itself says it must be present in the BGP 
routing update means whenever a BGP is going to advertise any specific network it's not only going to advertise this network it also going to advertise some extra information and that information will be your attribute information like it can be AS path information which we'll see more in detail AS path origin information and next stop information what is the next stop address so that's what we call as mandatory now when you say mandatory it has to be present in the BGP routing update which means when a BGP advertise it's going to advertise the network along with this attribute information and when we say well known it will it is something recognized by every uh, BGP running router and then we have well known discretionary so the discretionary means it may be may not be present so it's going to be recognized by all the BGP routers because it is also a well known attribute and it is passed on to other BGP routers but it's not mandatory to be present in the BGP update just like uh, quite opposite to mandatory it may be present or may not be present like local preference there is one attribute called local preference uh, it, it sometimes sometimes this local preference will be advertised to only internal BGP peers but it is not going to advertise to external BGP peers so we'll see more in detail about this attributes in our next videos so I'm just giving you the basic idea of the categories the next thing we have optional attribute so optional means the name itself says it may be present in the routing update uh, may not be present so now if you configure it will be present so when we say optional it might may not be recognized so the BGP router may recognize or may not recognize just quite opposite to well-known and when we say transdue when we say transdue you can see a might or might not be recognized by the BGP router but even though it is not going to be recognized but still it is going to pass on to the other BGP neighbors like let's say there is one router is going to pass on the information to another router and it is advertising some network let's say 10 or network and it is going on to add some information let's say aggregator attribute there is one aggregator attribute uh, it's similar to first summarization it's used so this aggregator attribute will be passed on to this router and when this router re re uh, uses this network it's going to receive that network and if this router is not able to understand this attribute information even though it is still going to pass on to the other router so that's what a transdue attribute whereas in case of non transdue if this router is advertising 10 dot network and if the other router is not going to understand that attribute information it will simply remove that information and it will not pass on to that information like MED originator ID these attributes if the BGB process do not recognize the attribute then it will ignore the update and it will not going to advertise to other peers means it's not going to advertise to other peer so that's the basic difference between these two when we say optional it it is a little bit opposite to your well-known attribute it may be it might be present it might not be present but when you say transdue it will be still advertised even though if it doesn't understand that attribute information it is going to mark it as a partial and then pass on to the next but whereas in non transdue it will not be advertised so that's the a basic difference between these two things so this is the summary of the attributes so BGP attributes let me quickly summarize before we uh, finish off this video BGP attributes we got well-known attribute recognized by all the vendors means uh, BGP one BGP understands this attribute okay whereas when we have optional it may be present may not be present in that we have well-known mandatory attribute and well-known discretionary attribute mandatory it has to be present in the routing update when we say discretionary it may or may not be present so it depending upon the types of the neighbors depends upon the types of the configurations when we say optional we have two types of attribute optional transdue and optional non transdue attributes when we say transdue it's going to uh, pass on this information to the neighbor along with that information if the neighbor router do not understand this attribute information it still pass on to the neighbor whereas non-transdue will simply do not advertise